The Celsi Community Cup has done much to reignite club rugby in the country. This year, KZN was fortunate to have two clubs, Johnson College Rovers and SA Home Loans Durban Collegians competing. During the tournament, both teams were hosting visitors, so it was decided to combine the games into an afternoon feast of rugby, with a fun tag rugby legends game in between the two club clashes. I think today is just about the way Rovers do things. Um, we are, as a company, very, very proud to be involved and be one of the sponsors here. And, um, you know, when they approached me and said that they would like to do this day with where they had Legends teams playing, we were very willing to get involved and, and sponsor the, the invitation team. The Fidelity Security Group got behind the Legends Invitational team of former local and international legends. Um, the reason we went for the colour red, I mean, I think most people know that our company colour is green. But what we did is not to waste the money, we went for one of the local development club's colours. And we did the jerseys in that colour so that we could keep, hand it over to them afterwards. And it's not a set of jerseys that goes to waste. With the stellar lineup, the crowds were in for a special treat as former SA Under-20 and Sharks wingers Cedric and Keyes led John O'Braley and the international legends out. They were followed out by Johnson College Rovers legends, which included KZNRU president Graham McKenzie and the legendary Bok captain Gary Teichman. Pocket rocket Brent Russell enjoying his contribution to club rugby. No, obviously a very good uh, initiative uh, started by the, the old boys. Uh, it's, it's nice to actually see some of the old guys coming to support the club rugby and, uh, and uh, nice, to be, nice to be a part of it. Uh, first time that I've actually been here and uh, definitely will be looking at getting involved going forward, you know. Um, obviously club rugby is a very important uh, part of, of rugby in South Africa and uh, if we can get some of the old players get taking part in some touch rugby, tag rugby and uh, it's not as easy as what you think it is and uh, so it's a good initiative. Dion Kayser and Albert van den Berg avoiding being tagged in this fast-paced game, but too fast for some. Well, it was good fun. Uh, I think it's more for the 30-year-olds than the 48-year-olds. So, um, I enjoyed it. You know, it's great to be back uh, just to support club rugby. I think that's the starting point for, for the whole game, and uh, it's important that we do that. You know, a lot of guys give up a lot of time for club rugby, and you know, where we can contribute, we must do it. You know, I, I think the players were pleasantly surprised. They weren't quite sure what uh, tag meant, although tag is part of Saru. Um, I think there was a new appreciation of what it could do, and uh, I think going forward, this is probably the way to go and get a lot of these guys back playing and, and doing it in, for good causes. With the likes of Aussie legend David Campisi and a variety of South African legends out on the park, a much larger crowd gathered to not only enjoy this game, but the two club rugby clashes as well. Our biggest goal here is, uh, I think club rugby gets very inclusive at times, and it's the same old people pitching up and relying on it. And we really want to take the game to the community. Um, and by using the Legends game uh, for twofold. One, obviously, for the Ryan Walker uh, Foundation. That's the first thing. But second of all, there's a lot of public that just came down today. And uh, hopefully that will bring a few more bums on seats as well. Well, I think for most of the people that are watching here today that, come, that came to watch, some of them might have not had a chance to see most of the guys that played the tag rugby game today play back in the day. And today was an opportunity for them to, to see them play um, and also to get a chance to mingle with them. Some of the guys that I, I used to look up to when I was still playing, guys like Gary Tashman, I mean, David Campisi from Australia, I mean, was one of the people that I looked up to with this goose step and kind of thing. But for a day like this, I think for spectators that are here today, was, it, was a spe it was a spectacle for them. The players were still taking the game seriously. It was good fun. Uh, it was amazing to see the competitiveness come out. You know, um, we started off quite relaxed, and then within the first two minutes, the guys are, are straight back at it. Uh, a lot of referees on the on the field, uh, but it was good fun, and it's, it was great to be here. Uh, we had some real fantastic legends out there today. I mean, to have Gary Teichman, Campo, we had Dion Kayser, we had a whole lot of these boys playing out there. And it was great to be with them, uh, and, and we were lucky enough to win the game. A great initiative, a great game and loads of fun, with Campo earning his ice bucket stripes all in the name of club rugby and to help the Ryan Walker Foundation. <laughs>